Hi, I'm Steven. This is Corey. We're here from Just Got Played, and we just played Dice Miner from Atlas Games. So uh, this is the Kickstarter Deluxe Edition that you just got from the Kickstarter. Um, let's go to the table. I'll show you a little bit, I'll explain how it's played, and uh, then we'll come back and tell you what we think about it. In Dice Miner, you're going to have a hero, and that hero may give you some extra symbols, it might give you a special power, or it might give you a combination of those things. Uh, and as the hero, you're going to draft dice, uh, you're going to use those dice, and you're going to score those dice. So over three rounds, uh, and each round is broken into four different phases. So the first phase is called the excavation phase. And during the excavation phase, um, you can take dice from the mountain. So you can only take dice from the top, meaning a couple of sides are exposed, so I could take this three or this five. Or if I have a beer in my trove because I have it from a previous round or because I have already drafted it this round, I can take a die with a beer on it and I can assign it to another player. I just roll it and share that beer with them so this other player gets that beer, which is what I rolled here. And now I can take two dice from the mountain. Uh, and those dice don't have to be from the top. I can take from the top if I want, but I can also just take from the side uh, like that. So once all of these dice have been drafted, then we move into the magic phase. And the magic phase, you can see this die actually has three magic symbols on it. There's two. Uh, each of those symbols can allow you to re-roll dice uh, that are in your trove. And once everybody has done is done rolling all of their dice, then we go into the uh, scoring phase. And the way the dice score is so you have these tunnel dice that go one, two, three, four, five here. And what you want to do is you want to have straights of them. So if you have, say, a one, two, three, then you get one, two, three, four, five, six points. Uh, and then if I added a four to that, uh, I would get ten points. And I can have multiple sort of straights going as well. I can have one, two, and three, and then a one and a two. Uh, but it always has to start at one. So that's one way to score points. Uh, another way to score points is these treasure dice. Uh, so these treasure symbols, uh, each one of these is worth a point, but for the player who has the most, uh, they're worth double. Uh, and if there's a tie for most, then nobody's gets doubled. Um, also, we have these hazard dice. Uh, so for instance, this is the uh, tunnel collapsing, uh, and there are dragons as well. Um, so each one of those symbols, so that's two and uh, four in that case, uh, each of those symbols uh, are negative, right? So this would be negative two points, unless I had drafted, say, this pickaxe. So this pickaxe uh, turns this negative two points into positive two points. Uh, and then let's look at a case of the dragons, right? So here's two dragons. Uh, if I had a shield then the shield turns the negative two points from the dragon into positive two points. Uh, so that's what this tool die is for. Uh, in the replenish phase, you're going to... This is the tool die again. If you have any of these treasure chests, you can keep any dice that you had in your trove uh, set to the side that they're already on. So maybe you already had a treasure uh, symbol with three treasures on it, and you want to just keep that. Uh, you can carry that over the next round. Otherwise, you re-roll all of the dice that are in your trove, um, and then you refill the mountain and you play again. So you're going to build up dice uh, over time, and you're going to keep scoring them. And at the end, you're just going to add up the points and see who has the most, and that person is declared the victor. All right. So, Corey, pretty happy with your purchase, huh? I am. This is going to get a lot of re uh, replay. Yeah, cool. So, why don't you tell me what uh, you know? What was your favorite thing about the game? Um, the component quality is actually really nice. Um, I'm very satisfied with with everything. Really, um, these are nice and thick. Um, the character uh, abilities and such. The dice are really nice. Translucent dice are in here. This this is nice. Yeah, I mean, I like the mountain too. Um, uh, for me, the thing that I liked most about the game was uh, actually this mountain and how these dice are here. So it sort of changes the drafting, how, how you draft the dice. You have to take from the top, or you could use a beer, you know, share a beer with somebody, give them sort of an advantage, and then you can sort of take from the sides, right? And so I, I thought that mechanism was kind of neat. You know, this mountain isn't just a gimmick, right, to display right. the dice. It also, you know, it, it has a gameplay purpose too, and, and I like it and things. 
uh, work out that way. So, um, what would you say that you dislike about the game? Well, um, my dislikes, uh, this is being picky. And I just wouldn't have chose the colors for these dice. Yeah, it's a little weird, but I'm just weird about colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, this, this is the only version of the game I played, so I, I thought they were okay, but yeah. Um, After a few beers, it wouldn't matter, right? <laughs> yeah, right, right. This, we got a few beers up here already. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, so for me, though, what I didn't like about the game was uh, these actual, these tool dice. Um, and, and this is a small nitpick, really, because overall, I mean, I really liked the game. Um, but these, these dice are very swingy. The idea that you have the pickaxe to negate the cave-ins, uh, or you have the shield to negate the dragons. Like, I mean, that can be a lot of points swinging one way or the other. You getting the shield or not, rolling that shield, you know, or the pickaxe, etc. It, it just felt sort of swingy, and I know this is a luck game and a rolling game and all that, and so I don't mind that. Mm -hmm. But, and, and just overall, that one, to me, was a little more swingy than I would have liked, I guess. But, uh... Anyway, so yeah, this is uh, Dice Miner from Atlas Games. Cool. Good times. Enjoyed rolling dice with you. Yeah, yeah. super fun. All right. <laughs> Turn this into a different kind of... Uh, this, we're going to actually get some, some beers to play this game, right? Nice. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Drinking game like this. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right, you can stop it.